everybody. If you're seeing this on replay, oh, let me see if I can fix my light. Oh, it feels like it's fixing the fall. <laughs> um, so I just thought that I would pop on today and show you guys. I'm going to try to pop on and do all four of our Recreate the Look collections over on my blog. I actually featured two of them. So I featured the winter ones. I think two are more holiday themed because of the name and two are winter themed. So I thought today I would feature one of them and I'm going to feature the sugar and spice collection. Um, I've got a little bit of the eyeshadow on. Um, not a lot. I just didn't feel like doing a ton today, but I was like, let me just put the colors on just to have some fun. Um, just to show you kind of what it, I didn't do it the exact same way that they did because that's what I love about the recreate the look. They give you the tutorials but you can have so much fun with the colors that are in these looks. So don't be afraid to like give it your own twist. Um, you know, just whatever you feel like wearing and however you feel like doing it, that's what you should do. You can attempt it the way they do it or just get in there and use the colors however you want to. So today, like I said, on the blog, I've written a post about them. So you can go see that. It's a daily dose of I wrote all about the um, frosty frosted pine and then sugar and spice. So today I'm going to showcase the colors that are in the sugar and spice collection. Like I said, I've already got some on my eyes. Um, I've got my little illuminator on my nose. You can see the pretty little shine. I love this illuminator. It's one of my favorites. Hey, Christy. Um, and then I have my lips on from this collection. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show this. And if you're watching this on replay, welcome or hello um leave a comment telling me what your favorite color is out of this collection when you finish watching it or if you're like oh my gosh i need the whole collection um and look before i get going look how cute my little head wrap is wandering arrow this is another one of theirs that i have it's a little christmas tree i should have worn this the day i do frosted pine i'll probably put it back on okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get started this is probably gonna be a fairly quick i'm just gonna show you the colors do some swatches and then we're going to be done. And let me get my little makeup wipe so I can wipe it off my arms. I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. It's just been kind of weird over here today, but it's fine. It'll be better. Okay, so this is the whole collection, and I have it in my eyeshadow palette because I was like, this makes the perfect little palette to showcase collections in. This is the, the 20 count eyeshadow palette, the Isle. They have a 49 count as well. Um, so if if you ever wanted to see this, this is what it looks like on the outside. It holds 20 eyeshadows. The other one holds 49. Okay, so this right here is all that you get in the Sugar and Spice collection. So you've got your Photoshop Illuminator, your Claire eyeshadow, Pomegranate, Moscow, and Philly. So those four are eyeshadows. That is an Illuminator, which can also be used as an eyeshadow. And then you have um, three lips things. You have your vanilla lip conditioner, and these are all mine, so obviously they're not completely new. They're used. Um, you have your Desert Sunset and your Nude. So Desert Sunset is one of our glosses, and Nude is one of our satins. And of course, our lip conditioner is our lip conditioner. Um, I don't need to swatch the lip conditioner. It's clear. It's amazing. It makes your, fit, your lips... Why can I not talk today? Your lips feel so good and keeps them so um, hydrated during these cold months. I've used mine a ton. So I love the lip conditioner. If you're needing something for your lips, I don't use any other chapstick anymore. Ever since I got that, I keep one of these. I have the vanilla and the cherry. Um, I keep one of them in my palette, so I have it on the go. Okay, so I'm not going to swatch that because it's clear. So we are actually going to start with the two lip colors that are in this sugar and spice collection the first one is desert sunset and i don't know if you can see that it's kind of oh let me get that here it's kind of like a um peachy like mauve I, I don't exactly know. it's like a it's not like wallflower but it is kind of got a little bit of a pink undertone when you see it in person so i'm going to show you a swatch of this and this again is desert sunset it's one of our satin shades just put it on here so you can see that. So that is Desert Sunset. Okay, and then the next lip color, in addition to the lip conditioner and Desert Sunset that is in the Sugar and Spice collection is Nude. I love Nude. It's actually going to be this week's Lip Feature Friday. So I'll be doing a post all about that on Friday, showcasing it on my lips and all of that. Today I actually mixed Desert Sunset and Nude on my lips. So that's what that looks like mixed. I put nude down and then I put desert sunset on top of it. 
Um, so this is nude, and let me go ahead and swatch that for you. This is one of our satin shades, so it's more of a matte. So that's nude. So we've got Desert Sunset and Nude. And those are the two lip and cheek colors along with, again, Vanilla Lip Conditioner, which has no color, so I'm not gonna swatch that. So one more time, Desert Sunset and Nude. And those are the two lip colors that come in this collection. Okay, let me wipe that and dry that off. So now I'm gonna actually just um, do the illuminator and the eyeshadows. I'm not gonna like do the illuminator and then wipe it off and then go back and do the eyeshadows since they're all powder. I'm just gonna swatch all of them. So first up, we're starting with Claire, which is gonna be that pink color right there. It's kind of along the same lines as Mama, but Mama is a little bit lighter. This has more of a deeper shade to it, I would think, and it's more pigmented for sure. So let me put that on my arm so you can see Claire. Okay, so that is Claire, and that is one of four eyeshadows that is in this um, Sugar and Spice collection. Okay, the next color we're going to do is going to jump up here. Sorry, you're seeing my mirror. Let me turn it sideways. Is going to be pomegranate and that is right here and let me put that on my arm this whole collection is very very pretty so that one is pomegranate okay next we are going to go I'm just gonna take it out it's easier than trying to twist that little uh, eyeshadow palette sideways the next one is Moscow and those first two actually all three of the eyeshadows except for this one there's four Three of them are mattes, and this is the shimmer shade that is in um, the Sugar and Spice collection. So let me go ahead and put Moscow on my arm so you can see it. Okay, that's Moscow. So it's kind of, when it's on, it's almost like a, a rust color is what I would like to say. It's almost as if you took those two and combined them and added the shimmer to it. So we've got Claire, Pomegranate, and Moscow. And again, that's Moscow in the tin. And then the last eyeshadow shade, and then I'll show you the illuminator, and this illuminator is one of my favorites, is Philly. So this is going to be one of your deeper browns. It's a really pretty color. It can be a crease. It can be an eyeliner. It can even be, um, you can use it to do eyebrows if you have um, certain eyebrow shades. So let me go ahead and swatch that for you. Okay, so that's Philly. So you can see it's a super deep brown. Um, these are such pretty colors, and I think they fit Sugar and Spice very nicely because you've got your kind of your two lighter colors and your two darker colors. So we've got Claire, Pomegranate, Moscow, and Philly. And that's the four eyeshadow colors that come in the Sugar and Spice collection. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you for this live, and I'll do a live with the Frosted Pine probably Thursday. I'll show you guys that look. Um, is our Illuminator Photoshop. This is one of our powder illuminators and it is also included in the Sugar and Spice collection. Such a pretty color. It's a pink and it's very, very shimmery. So let me show you guys this on my arm. Let me get some water so I can get on there. Okay. So that's Photoshop. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Such a pretty, and you can use this as an eyeshadow. I know it's called an illuminator, so we think, you know, here, 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 but you can use this as an eyeshadow. I've topped my lips with some of my powder illuminators and then go over it with my lip conditioner. So that's some ideas. Don't just stick to, you know, the typical illuminating spots that you use our illuminators. Adventure, you know, venture out and try it other places because it's such a pretty color. So again, that is Photoshop. And then I'll show you the collection one more time. These are the eyeshadows. We've got Claire, Moscow. That's not right. Claire, Pomegranate, Moscow, Philly. And then this is the Illumina Illuminator Photoshop. And then let me show you everything in the tin one more time so you can see the whole entire collection. So that is the whole collection. Our lip conditioner, Desert Sunset, nude so those are the three lips that you'll get with it and then let me look pomegranate moscow claire and philly are the four eyeshadows that come in the collection and then that's the illuminator photoshop so this right here is the whole sugar and spice collection um this again is our eyeshadow palette the aisle palette this is our 20 count such a pretty palette if you're looking for one. Oh, look, there's me. Hey. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little live. I just wanted to really showcase these, recreate the looks one by one so you can kind of see them 
swatched on skin because sometimes that makes a difference you know it looks great when i post the pictures and all that and even in the tutorials but sometimes it's just a little bit better to see it on the skin um, so that's why i like to hop on and swatch these things all right guys i hope you have a great rest of your tuesday i am going to go back to the kitchen now i am making some linguine passatano for dinner so i'm going to go prep some more of the stuff so that way when i go to cook it this evening it's all prepped and i can just kind of cook and not be cutting them you guys have a great Tuesday, and um, I just hope that you all are super blessed as the day goes on. Bye, guys.